Just to be safe, this Toronto grocery store pulled all romaine lettuce off its shelves until it can figure out if selling the lettuce would put its customers at risk. When I came in here, it was one of the first things I was going to pay attention to to see whether they still had it on the shelf or not. What's going on to cause all these outbreaks? Some Canadian grocers haven't taken action yet and don't have to. Officials in Canada and the U.S. say they're still trying to figure out the source of the problem. Until then, no official recall. In the U.S., the advice to consumers is clear. If they had already uh, gone to the store and they have romaine lettuce in their home just to go ahead and throw it away and not to serve it. But in Canada, consumers are just being told to avoid it until more is known about the outbreak and the cause of contamination. Experts say this outbreak is like lightning striking twice. This strain of E. coli, O157, is the same one that was at the centre of another romaine lettuce warning last December. Canada's public health agency says it suggests there may be a reoccurring source of contamination. The strain is also more likely than others to make people severely sick. Simply washing the lettuce won't help. Not only does it produce a diarrheal disease, but it can produce a toxin, a poison that involves the kidneys, so you can get subsequent kidney failure. Officials are concerned there could be more cases. We are getting reports from health departments that there are uh, some more illnesses being reported. The cause of last year's contamination was never determined, and experts say the source of this one will likely also be difficult to track. Lettuce is often repackaged on its way to stores or restaurants. For now, the lettuce delivered to this Toronto store will stay boxed up and out of reach of shoppers. Jacqueline Hansen, CBC News, Toronto. So as Jacqueline mentioned, the strain of bacteria in this outbreak is the same that appeared in another outbreak linked to romaine lettuce from last year. And this has happened other times as well. So why is that? For more, let's turn to our health reporter, Kelly Crow in Toronto. What is it, Kelly, about romaine lettuce? Well, the thing about romaine lettuce is that it's grown in the ground, uh, as are many other vegetables, and all of them would have the same risk of being exposed to E. coli. But there's something about the romaine, in this case, a persistent source of contamination they now know for certain because they've been able to match the DNA fingerprints of the bacteria. So there's something going on in the supply chain that uh, has exposed this romaine, and that could have happened uh, usually what happens is it's uh, irrigation water that's been exposed to livestock that is then um, put on the on the plants but it could have happened in the trucking in the processing even in the grocery store for that matter and of course with romaine lettuce we're not cooking it like we are with uh, some other row vegetables uh, so now we have this problem tell us about uh, the detective work that's underway now to try to figure out the source of it well it's just like any other detective story they need to interview the victims ask them to remember everything that they ate, uh, which is a challenge, find out how many of them ate something in common, in this case, romaine lettuce. The CDC already knows that about uh, 11 out of 14 people have eaten the lettuce, so that's how they, that's the process of elimination they use to find out what the culprit is. And then, hopefully, they will find the smoking lettuce leaf, and that would be somebody who still has it in their fridge. It has a short shelf life, so that makes it, that, that's unlikely. And then if they can find the bug on the leaf, and then they know where that person purchased it, they can start the trace back. But most of the time, they don't uh, ever get to the source. Okay. Kelly, thank you. Thank you.